we're back. Take us to the final world. Oh, and now we have to deal with Nasty. Or Gun Nasty, as the reporter called it. Gun Nasty Gun Orc. Oh, we have the same music as. So what was that? I think it was Toasty? Now there's going to be gems in those dragon heads, so we won't be getting everything in this world. Hey, I thought everything was supposed to get harder. There's, this world is pretty much just a platform in the middle of the ocean with three dragon heads. Oh, and look, there's a portal. Now, remember in the beginning of the game when I told you to remember some of those dragon names? Recognize this one? Recognize that name? Actually, I... Yeah, it, this is where my impatience comes back, because if I hadn't skipped the dragons, I could have let you hear the voices, and Delvin's voice actually changes, and he's not the only one. But yeah, you'll remember that Delvin was the second dragon we rescued. He was the dragon in uh, Artisan's home. Yeah, we have we, we have 75 dragons. Started off with 74, and every dragon in this world is a dragon previously rescued. So that means there's six dragons that we have to rescue twice. And at the end of at the end of the game, your file is going to say 80 dragons. Wait, I don't even need that. I'm just playing this. Oh, look, he's in his underwear. <laughs> It'll say 80 dragons, but the final dragons are dragons we already saved, and that was very stupid of me. Yeah, spiral. Don't charge into the crates, okay? Good? Yes, good. Uh, I probably shouldn't go this way, but... I really shouldn't rush, but <laughs> I do it anyway. I don't know why. Even when I get hurt, I still rush. But yeah, like I said, this is where my impatience gets the better of me. And look, this is another dragon we already saved. We saved him in the Dreamweaver's home. Let's see if I can remember where the next dragon was. You're probably thinking now, how many times have you played this game? I've played this game a lot. I guess that's already evident. But... Wait, why'd I do that? I don't even need that. I can't help it. I love this game. Ah! That was stupid. I need butterfly. See, that's what happens when you clutch a TNT crate. Oh, I love this TNT crate. It's my buddy. It's my best friend. <laughs> Ugh, a bunch of red ones. Give me some... Uh, give me some purple ones, or at least some gold. Those are worth a lot, too. Here's an area where you don't even need the key. See who this is. Just like Delvin, he was also in the artisan's home. Man, am I actually gonna remember all these dragons? 
I think that's the last dragon for this portal. I think I was kidding when I said we didn't need the key. See, that's why you didn't need the key. With that happen a pure chance, I usually have to charge into one of these things. Now, you've probably noticed that I jump a lot. And the reason why is because I, I got into the habit of doing that a long time ago, and I... I do it because I, it actually makes it easier to dodge enemies and to avoid getting, well, avoid jumping off the cliff. Okay, well, not jumping off the cliff because I'm jumping a lot, but you've heard me complain about how enemies are so close to the edge of the cliff, and they have armor on, so I have no choice but to charge them. But yeah, jumping helps me avoid that, and as you can see, I usually jump the other way when that happens. Well, next time, Twilight Harbor. <laughs> 